Hey guys, so it's Sunday, October 16th, and um, this is what I heard from 4 to 7 a.m. today. Uh, number one, the end for the wicked. Thunder, my holy thunder. When I speak, mountains move. I am the Lord your God. I created all you see, the earth and the hills and sky. Your very existence is in the palm of my hand. I am loving and giving. I am grace and love. But soon the hand of wrath, my justice will arise. Who can stand the wrath of God? For my own, those that are mine, I will spare my wrath. For those that hate me, the wicked in heart, my full wrath is about to be poured out like the earth has never seen. They will fear. They will know it is my hand. But they have chosen. They believe the evil one. They believe his lies. They love evil, hatred, and wickedness. They err. They do not hear me. This generation is the most rebellious in heart since the beginning of time. There have been more savage generations. There have been people in time with large feelings of evil. But as a generation, there have never been more humans with evil hearts set on wickedness. It is detestable. I am about to do a work. I am about to show my mighty authority to these evil ones. Pray now for those you love that are mixed with wickedness. The time to change one's heart and choose my son, Jesus Christ, the one and only Messiah. The time is ending. The time is near. When the time passes, all left on earth, but a few who have turned to me, the remnant of rebels that turn to me, all else will suffer my full hand of wrath. They will see mighty things. At first, they will blame the climate. But as my wrath unfolds, they will no longer be able to blame a man-made concept. They will acknowledge that there is indeed a God more powerful than all the elements of this world, more powerful than the evil one. They will see. They will see. But they will not turn. They will not be able to turn. The promises they make to the wicked ruler, to the deceiver, and to the evil one, these will be eternal choices. Their just reward is my wrath and their deliverance to the pit. Then, after my judgment, they will go to the lake of fire, and their souls will burn forever and ever. This is their end. Pray for the lost, so that they can find me while I can be found. Pray in earnest that their hearts are softened and their ears can hear. Pray they fully turn their hearts to me. I see from on high. I will know the truth. Pray now before the days are too far spent. Pray. Second one. The faithfulness and the tares. To the faithful, my precious faithful church, I see you from on high. You love me. You fear being left behind. This has wisdom. You see what is to come and you wish to avoid this. All that seek me with their whole heart, all that pray with sincerity and in earnest, I will protect. I will send my holy angels. I will rescue and rapture when I send my son on the clouds to get you. Do not worry. I love my own. Those that should worry are those in pride. They believe they worship me, but they have concocted a God of their own making. Some have been misled by their church. Some make a human form of me and some find God, their God within, which is truly self. They error because they have not read my holy scriptures to see who I really am. Their judgment will be swift. They are not my faithful. Even though they call themselves Christians, I do not call them Christians. I see from on high, I am not fooled. There is no God but me, and no one comes to me but through the holy, but through my holy son, Jesus. These people are tares. They appear as Christians, but they are not. They will soon be separated out. They will not have my hand of protection. Be warned. Read my word. Do you know me or a me that you have created? If you align with the culture and say it is my love that supports what is evil, you do not know me. If you look within to find me as a rising energy, this is not me. This is the deceptive one lying to you, pretending to be me. Know my words. Do you have the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and self-control? These are signs of my own. Self-control is a trait I give. But many who claim to know me act in erratic ways, calling it worship. This is not worship. I cannot, it cannot be because it lacks self-control. Be warned. 
I am the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. The infilling of my spirit cannot go against my character. Do not follow the evil one and call it Christianity. Know me. Read my word. Do not confuse peace either. My peace passes all understanding. The peace the evil one offers is not peace. It is tranquility, it is getting along, and it is calmness, but it is not my peace. My peace is supernatural and cannot be moved. Do not use my words and enact the methods of the evil one. This is not of me. And following the evil one is because of not reading my word. Be warned, tares, be warned. Judgment comes to the church first. Those that call themselves by my name, repent now, seek my face, read my word, find me, the true me. You do not want your soul cast into outer darkness because you believed a man and you did not read the words for yourself. I do not hear the prayers of the tares. They are useless nonsense. I hear the prayers of my sheep, my own, my loves, and my faithful ones. The third one. Um, the future of the faithful. My faithful, in a short while, your journey will be done. Hang on. The wedding feast is being prepared. The banquet. A life of joy and true peace awaits. Yes, you will be able to see your loved ones that also loved me. Yes, you will see your precious pets. Nothing of this world that is bad or evil will be remembered. You will be changed, transformed, healed, perfected. Soon, my loves, hold on. Keep your focus on me. Rest in the knowledge that I will right all the wrongs. I will bring justice to this world. I will bring my faithful home. Home with the ones that I send you, the half-born, mine that will become born again soon. Hold on, soon. Lean into me and you will be spared. Pray fervently. Keep your spiritual borders high and firm. Do not let the evil ones into your hearts. Stay pure in heart. Focus on me and not the world. Love, forgive, and share my son with those I bring. Be love to others. Love is the active expression that fulfills the laws. Be love. The fourth one, pray for those in error. Pray for my grace to be brought to those who are in error. Pray they see the real me and that I hear their cry before it is too late. My grace can cover a multitude of sin, but the repentant heart must be true. I see all from on high. There is no God above me. I am. I warn because I love. I wish no one to perish. Seek me, the true me. Choose Jesus, the propitiation for sin. There are no excuses for worshiping a counterfeit. The Bible is available to all. Read my word. I am. The fifth one. Hear the voice of the Lord. Hear the voice of the Lord. I love you. I want what is best for you. I am the Lord your God, my precious faithful ones. I am here. Do not be dismayed or terrified at what you are to see. Be like Joshua. Put your full faith in me. Have no fear. I am with you. I am by your side. Through me, you cannot lose. It is impossible for me to fail. Trust me. Just as I brought the Israelites out of Egypt, I will deliver you out of this wicked generation. If you keep your faith in me and trust in me, you will be safe and provided for. I am able to save every one of you, no matter how far you are scattered upon the earth. Trust me. Do not complain like the Israelites. Look and see my provisions and be grateful. Acknowledge my miracles amongst those around you. Rejoice, be grateful to me. I will have joy when I see grateful hearts. Answer my miracles with joy and gladness, with worship and praise. The great, to the grateful, I will show more miracles. My miracles are to provide for my own and to show those that are not mine that I am, I am. They are to know me by seeing how I provide. Ask, ask in full faith and I will perform mighty acts. Do not ask half-heartedly. Doubt means you do not truly believe I can. Ask and believe it. If I can move mountains and raise from the dead, surely I can provide food, water, power, endurance, health, and a myriad of other things. Ask me, seek me in full faith. Some of you have seen my provisions even now. This is because you believe in me. You trust me. I have provided. Others see you. To some, it brings more faith. To some, it causes them to mock. They do not believe I can provide finances. They do not believe I can cure illness. They do not believe that I can allow my mighty angels to be seen. They do not believe. This has always been since the dawn of man. Some honor me and seek me and believe in me and others do not. Um, these elevate their own wisdom. This is a choice. My wisdom is clearly seen. Consider my creation. 
Who put this together? Who decides where the water stops? Who determines the height of a tree? Who gives the instincts of um, caring for one's cub? Evidence of me is everywhere you look. Only the fools explain these things away in their own wisdom. My wise ones see the awe and majesty in my creation. They see the unseen. That is, that they see that I created all that is good. The more man discovers, the more I am revealed to them, the more they worship. Only a fool believes the lies of the evil one, that random actions created this world. That is an offense to me. If you love me, you believe my word. The first words in scripture testify that I made your world and your universe in seven days. If you challenge this and side with man's beliefs, then you challenge me and you do not believe me. If you do not believe me in the very words I give and bring alternate meanings to what I have clearly said, then you do not know me. Repent or you will be treated as the wicked. I am, I am the creator of the world. Do not test me with man's foolishness. My word is clear. My word tells the truth. In any place you do not agree with me, you are wrong. Repent or be treated as the wicked. Either you believe in me fully or you do not believe in me at all. It is not a selection where you can choose to believe in parts of my word and create your own definitions for other parts. I speak clearly. I am truth. Align with me fully or side with evil. These are the only two choices. All men in all times have had to make this choice. Who will you choose? What will you believe? Either my word stands or you side with evil. What do you say? My own side with me. My own believe my words. My own choose life through my son, Jesus Christ, the one and only Messiah. My own do not test me by creating their own versions of my words, deciding meanings, reinterpreting the words to match a cultural standard. I am the standard. The culture is measured against me. The wicked will perish. Do not side with the wicked. Do not believe their lies about what my words say. Soon there will be an attempt to twist my holy words. Important looking people will agree to change the meaning of my words and enforce them as rules. It begins even now. They have plans. They have also the foundations to unite the world and how people will relate to me. This is all falsehood. They twist my words to bring a deception. They hope to eradicate my people. Read my word, think on it. Then when their words rise, you will hear that it is not quite accurate. Any variance from my character or from my words is false. Reject these efforts. Do not agree to uniting falsehood with truth. This does not end well. This ends at eternal death. The ones who seek to unite the world in faith to create peace, they all lie to one another. Each has a sinister plan. All hate my true people, but each also hates each other. They seek to unite the world and eradicate Christians. Then they seek secretly to eradicate each other. They sit at a table and lie. They sign their names in falsehood. They each say they unite. They each mean to eventually target their partners into becoming their rendition of how they see God. The problem is each is already in error. Not one seeks the one true God, me. None seek the Lord God Almighty. They each serve the deceiver. They have accepted the lie that he is God. For generations, they have handed down their traditions of worship upon who they call God. But in each case, they traded me, Elohim, the Alpha and the Omega, the Lord God Almighty, the creator of the universe. They traded me for one they call by my name. But it is truly a pagan god or goddess that enslaves. These that unite do serve the same one, the deceiver. But they reject me when they reject my son, Jesus. They mock me when they acknowledge Jesus, but elevate another. They forgot the true me and, and received old false pagan gods to be put in my place. Yes, to be clear, they believe they do worship the one true God, but do not be fooled. Look, if they believed in me, they would be Christians. They would be my faithful. Do not be fooled. They will be very near to the truth in their efforts. Know my words so no one can deceive you. I am the only way to salvation. All of these mockers will go unto the pit unless they repent and come to me with their whole heart before it is too late. 
In their age and commitment to their version of God, this will take much humility. Pray for them. It is still possible for them to turn. They need to find Jesus. His death, burial, and resurrection is the evidence that I am, I am. Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the only Messiah, has already come. He provided the only way to me. All other paths are a lie. All other messiahs are a lie. All other names for God are a lie. Find me, the true me. Read my word. It is available to all. Seek me. And then six changes. Many wish for easier days. You want the things of life to be easier. This will occur after the rapture for all of my own. Be of good cheer. Even the least and the last ones in my fold are promised easier days. Rest assured. The sway of the evil one, his influence on your world has made life more difficult. This is with purpose. This is to entrap and as a snare. Things made to simplify life actually cause more chaos. Soon all of these will ensnare. Life without the tools of the evil one will be quite difficult because he has created a trap to keep people sucked into his darkness. Access to enjoyable activities, access to practical activities, and access to information is all coming to a quick end for those who are mine. The evil one plans to make it impossible to access the things that his devices provide. Money, food, energy, goods, gasoline, and information. He aims at pressuring people into obedience and subservience. One step closer to manipulating people into his mark. Do not take this bait. Those that trust me fully will be provided for. This transition will occur quickly. It will be sold as a way to keep people and information safe. A new thing that they will do to create a servitude. Do not agree. Do not take the bait. This is a trap. They will steal everything from everyone. Keep your focus on me. Trust me. Do not be manipulated into their plan. Those that trust me will be provided for. My faithful, my choir of prayer, my cherished lilies, be strong in me. Be faithful to me and in me alone. Just as the Israelites, I will deliver you. You will meet my son in the clouds soon. The rapture is real. The dreams I have given you are clues and assurances. Trust me. I sent my son to lay down his life for you. I will not leave you or forsake you. You are my precious ones, my faithful. I am. So hope that encourages you. And I'm going to run.